Hey guys, I'm Rich. Welcome to Rich with Cars. On today's episode, I'm going to give you guys a first impression of the McLaren Artura. The Artura replaces the 570S, which had a twin turbo V8. The Artura now does have a twin turbo V6 with hybridization, and it actually is much more powerful than the 570S. So I was very fortunate to have a close up look at the Artura at an event that I was invited to and I wanted to give you guys my first impressions on the short video of both the exterior and interior so strap in and let's take a look. So we have the exterior of the McLaren Artura right here. This clamshell here in the, in the back cannot be opened. It does contain the hybrid powertrain. It's a 120 degree V6 twin turbo. You got the flying buttresses over here. You got some additional cooling over there. You got the side vents here in the front to relieve some of the pressure inside the front wheel well. And they have some additional cooling intakes. As you guys can see, you have the radiator cooling over there. So a really, really nice design, very similar to other McLarens. I really enjoy this color quite a bit. Carbon ceramics. <laughs> Not sure if I'm crazy about this huge flat clamshell area over here. I think they should have actually brought the cockpit further back a little bit, but the whole reason was to have sort of a rear mid-engine layout. So that's why they did it, but I think they could have done a better job in terms of how they finished it over here. Kind of looks like a convertible gone coupe. And yes, you do have these flying buttresses over here. So another cool feature of this car is the fact that it's got this opening over here. They call it sort of like a chimney to, uh, to allow for additional heat to dissipate from the engine bay area. And then you have these 3D printed cutouts for the rear part of the vehicle where the engine sits to allow for additional cooling as well. Very, very cool taillights as well. Very thin and futuristic as well. So we got uh, the brand new McLaren Artura. This is a uh, V6 hybrid powertrain that replaces the 570S. Let's take a look at the interior. So that's your dash over there, fully digital with some adjustability for handling. And then that's your drive modes as well. And then you got your gear shifts over here. As you guys will notice, you don't have park. You just have the engine start, stop, drive, neutral, reverse, and then it basically parks on its own once you actually stop and turn off the car. You do have a new infotainment screen, which has both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay with some adjustability here on the side. Let's take a look at the seats. Really nice Alcantara seats over here with a bit of leather. You do have some storage here in the middle. As you can see, not much, but just enough. And you do have a cup holder over here and another cup holder right there in the front. So you do have some 
convenience in the vehicle. And then some additional buttons here. All in all, based on what I've been reading and watching on the new Artura, it's a very comfortable daily supercar driver. And then you also have some additional storage right here in the door part. So as soon as you open the door, the way that they actually shaped it is so when it goes vertical, it won't fall off. It, it'll still cup it over there. Pretty cool stuff. And then you have some additional buttons here for towing the car. So super, super cool. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this first impression video of the McLaren Artura. I hope it gave you a good close-up look of the Artura since uh, this car is relatively new. And uh, make sure to stay tuned for other car-related content. Hopefully I'll get an opportunity to get more time with the Artura in the future. And once again, thanks for all your support. Thanks for the views. Make sure to stay tuned for more car-related content. And I'll see you on the next one.